Jennifer with Caleb's Closet is joining me. Tell us a little bit about y'all's nonprofit. Caleb's Closet is a nonprofit that provides clothing to kids in the foster care system. It's not uncommon for a child to enter in foster care with nothing but the clothes on their back. So we look to relieve that stress on the foster parents so that they can work on integrating that child in their home uh, and all the important stuff that comes with that. And how did this get started and kind of does this only serve Lubbock? Who does this serve? This got started about six years ago by two foster moms who saw the need uh, when, they were when they were accepting foster kids into their home. This serves really anyone who is willing to pick up donations from us. We have quite a few local children who are placed in homes outside of our area. And a lot of times um, their caseworkers are willing to pick up items from us and take them to those kids. So we do serve not only Lubbock, but really anyone in the South Plains who's willing to, to pick up donations. And I know y'all need some volunteers right now. What do you need those yes. volunteers for? It's really important to us to stay organized. We, all the donations we receive, we weed out anything that's stained or torn, things that kids don't, can't, or can't really wear to school that's not appropriate. And we sort those donations by gender, by size, and by season so that it's really easy when we get an urgent request, we need clothes immediately, we know exactly where to go to pull those clothes to get them quickly to the foster parents. Is there a certain requirement for people to sign up to be a volunteer? There's no requirements. We are obviously limiting the number of volunteers that we have at each event, and we do require masks, but there is not an age requirement. In fact, we get a lot of high school kids looking for volunteer hours, and they are great. And how do they sign up for that? You can go to our website, calebscloset.org, on our volunteer section. We have a sign-up page, and you can sign up for uh, any upcoming events. I know y'all are getting a lot of donations right now, but you're kind of getting some ones that you do or don't need. Talk about what donations you do need. That's correct. We, we accept gently used clothing. We want our clothing that we do receive and we do keep to be things that kids can wear to school. Um, we might get clothing that has a torn knee and, and it's great for playing in the backyard, but not appropriate to wear to school. We want to restore dignity to these kids and we want them to feel the same as, as all the other kids in their household, all the other kids at their new school. Uh, and we want them to feel valued and that their clothes have value. Uh, with us being open to the donations where some other nonprofits are not, we're getting a lot of things that don't really serve our mission. Uh, we're getting adult clothes, which are, are great for, for working adults, but not something that a teen would wear to school. So we then need to find a new home for it, a new nonprofit that can utilize that. We do get a lot of toys, and we, we understand you want to give your toys to foster kids. We, we get that, but we unfortunately don't have the space to store those, and so we then have to find new homes for those as well. So people that do have those fitting clothes or the ones that y'all need, how do they donate those to you guys? We have a donation drop-off at Lubbock Baptist Temple, um, which is on 3215 60th Street. Uh, those bins stay out there and they can donate anytime. Well, thank you so much for being here, Jennifer. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Of course, we'll have more Trends and Friends coming up right after the break.